the company a long time. Corporate wanted to relocate her. This last long time it has spun in. Maybe we should just be cool with What? And then just let Colleen be Colleen? I don't want to be on that side of the screen. You don't get around in your phone. No. Guys. No. 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 See your recording, dude. Stop. <laughs> well, well, if we're gonna do this bonus episode, you have to record it. Well, I know. Like, normally you don't tell me when you start recording, and I get a notification right when you start recording. I know, which is stupid because I don't want that to happen. Because then, because then that defeats the whole suspense. Exactly. Exactly. It just. Yeah. What's what's even the point? I was secretly recording you. I mean, you could just tell me to look away and take my headphones out. Because <laughs> then I won't I hear the thing. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. But then but then you know something's up. Something well, up. yeah. Yeah, true. Or like, oh. Or like, something like that. I don't, I don't fucking know. But dude, see, see, I like I like doing video podcasts, but I enjoy the... Suspense. Audio only because it's just it's I I can record you for like five minutes straight and you wouldn't even and know. not even know but like at, then I catch on and be like something's up right <laughs> it was it was it was so much better back then oh my god back back then <laughs> we, we we make it sound like it was like ten years ago or something. It, it sounds like we're fucking old, but like no, we're all we're in our twenties, early twenties. Yeah, but uh, I'm gonna grab my drink really quick. Uh so for the for the bonus episode, what are we gonna talk about? Bas- are we kind of gonna basically talk about whatever? Or I mean, it's just it's just the draft stuff. It's just the draft yeah. stuff. Oh, so like. I got some new weed. <laughs> I finally got my hookup. <sighs> well, well, we do have a sponsor for this anyway, so... Marijuana. No. Hey, so, you know how yesterday you were drinking Wild Cherry Pepsi for the podcast, or the last time we did the podcast? Yeah. <laughs> Guess what I'm drinking? <laughs> I'm drinking Wild Cherry Pepsi. Oh, yeah, baby. Well, because I ordered Hungry Howie's today. And then I had a pizza. I had a chicken bacon ranch pizza. All right, so let's get into this. Okay, I can't see you, so... You can't see me? No. Your camera went out again. I can see myself. I can't see you, though. Are you on, are you on Skype? Yes. I'm leg- like I will send you a snap and I will show you yes, I am on Skype. Show me because this this is gonna piss me off and this is gonna keep happening. So the the whole so I have pretty badass news that I will tell you off the podcast. Something that doesn't really need to be discussed on the podcast per se, you know. Oh, no, 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 no! I have to fix this so people have to hear something. If you just said it on the podcast. I, I said so off. About- no, I said off the podcast. No, 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 no. I can't discuss. No. I can't discuss it on the podcast. I'm sorry, I can't. <laughs> Why not? Because it's it's the phone situation thing. You, you can know you see how me I now? Yes, I can. It's, okay. it's 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 all it's all about that whole phone situation. God. <sighs> Okay. But okay, so the draft so far. So the 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 first night of the WWE draft it was on SmackDown. That's right. It, it, uh, I, just, that, I think it's kind of weird, but which which okay, so the the thing that I didn't like is every round Raw got 3, SmackDown got 2. I get it cuz Raw's 3 hours, SmackDown's 2 hours, but they should have alternated between rounds to make it fair. It, it it makes sense though. I'm not saying it doesn't. I'm just saying that like they they, they should have had a system where they alternate between rounds so that way it's even for both shows. I mean, sure, but like, I mean, or, it's, have, it's... or each each brand have three picks each round. 
I don't know. I I'm I'm okay with the three to two pick. But the very the very the number one pick in the draft, Becky Lynch. Oh I my mean, god. I kind of saw that coming. Oh, I mean, she is the raw, out. I mean, she is the raw women's champion. Well, she she's also on the on the cover of the new game of, along with Roman Reigns, who was the second yeah. pick of the night. So Reigns goes to SmackDown. Which I mean, he was already on SmackDown anyway, so who really cares? Yeah, he, see, his his feud with the whole Brian and Harper and Rowan was mostly on SmackDown, so right. it makes. So congratulations to both Becky Lynch going to Raw, where you belong, the last kicker, and uh, Roman Reigns being drafted to SmackDown. And then uh, I believe we had uh, the, the second pick of Raw was, um, fuck. The OC. Yes. Oh, yeah, they were third. Oh, yeah. Oh. And on, I, I like what, the AJ Styles uh, and what, Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson are going to stay out of Raw. Yeah. Uh, what, what do you think of their new theme? The OC theme? I guess I didn't hear it. You haven't heard it yet? You haven't you haven't watched the match when the OC comes out? Uh, no, I don't I don't usually watch WWE TV. They, they debuted it a couple weeks ago. Yeah, definitely not done. Oh. Well, it's actually uh, it's pretty badass. It's got it's got an OC feel to it. It's like a modern day Bullet Club. It's like a Bullet Club theme. It sounds like a Bullet Club theme. So, I I like it. And then the uh, the the last SmackDown pick for the first round was uh, trying to fuck Bray Wyatt. Right and yeah, this, this it, is why I'm more professional. I have it pulled up right in front of me. I can't do that. I don't have a thing to do that. I mean, I do, but I mean, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, you, Bray you, Wyatt, and, even though he should be on both shows anyway, will be on SmackDown. I agree. He should be on both shows. He should be a. Uh, he should be the only free agent in this entire thing. I agree. Because then it would make him more unpredictable. Exactly. Where is he going to show up? Raw? SmackDown? Is The Fiend going to show up in NXT? Who knows? You know, like, I like that idea of, uh, you know, if he was just a free agent, so that way he can just go anywhere. Hell, have, just have him fucking wreck havoc in NXT. Well, it's kind of interesting because they drafted Bray Wyatt, and they're trying to make Bray Wyatt and The Fiend two different things. Yeah. So could we see the Fiend technically be a free agent while Bray Wyatt's on SmackDown the entire time? It's actually not a bad prediction. If if you're going to make the Fiend and Bray Wyatt two completely separate entities, that yes. would be the best and only way to do it. Exactly. That that's the only way to do it. And because they didn't say, oh, the Fiend Bray Wyatt. Being drafted to SmackDown, they just blatantly said Bray Wyatt. Yeah. So basically, we're gonna see Firefly Funhouse all SmackDown long. That'd be cool to see the Fiend at NXT, and uh, he just goes, he just goes everywhere. It doesn't matter. He just shows up everywhere. Fucks everyone up. Like, oh, hurt? Do I hurt him? Do I heal him? What the fuck do I do? And he just hurts everyone. <laughs> Um, and then, uh, the I believe it was the first pick of the second round. Drew McIntyre is on Raw. Yes. Which it, also makes sense. I mean, he has more of his, a his, Raw he, brand anyway. So. He, he looks more of he more he looks more like a Raw guy. Yeah. He he fits the the uh, not persona but the the the, uh, the feel. stigma. Yeah, the feel yeah. of the stigma. Of Raw, of what they want and their guys on Raw. I don't like that Sasha Banks is going to SmackDown though. I I despise that very much. I, I feel like she'd be better off on Raw, where she can feud with uh, Becky. Mom, I'm busy doing something. Hi, Mother Weathers. <laughs> Anyway, um, 
And then Randy Orton's going to Raw, which is kind of odd, but whatever. Like, you know, he's more of a SmackDown guy in my heart. Because he got he, he basically got his start on SmackDown. So he was, his, most of his career was on SmackDown. Sure. Um, Braun Strowman's going to SmackDown, which is... I don't understand. Weird. I don't understand it. Neither do I, honestly. I, um, he's like he's more of a raw guy too. Yeah. He fits that character. Oh, but we do got Ricochet, another guy who kind of has that you know same feel of raw anyway. He's got that edge. Oh yeah. I kind of I was kind of hoping Drew McIntyre would go to SmackDown. Who knows, man? Maybe maybe they'll do a double. Like uh, they did with John Cena when he was drafted to SmackDown, then drafted back to Raw. I forgot when that was. 2011? 2012? No, that was like, what was it, like 2006 or something. No, 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 no. It was uh, during the era of John Laurinaitis. So like 2012. Are you sure? Yes, because he, he, cause he, was, he was on Raw, then he got drafted to SmackDown. For like not even an hour, then he was drafted back to Raw. Okay, I'm I'm gonna look this up. Uh, Lacey Evans is going to SmackDown. How about you talk about that for a second while I look this um, up? Um, I don't know her. Her style is more like Raw. I don't think she has style personally. Th- see, the thing is, she was perfect on NXT, and they just brought her up too early. That's what I think. Cause. Like they're they're doing this thing with her and Natalia, but like it's not going anywhere. It's That's not benefiting. Natalia is a bad wrestler. Excuse me. I don't like Natalia. Okay. But like, see, I like Natalia, but like, she, I don't know, her ego is getting in the way of everything. I'm not really a fan of Lacey Evans either at the moment. Um, I'm not really either. I mean, I've only seen her stuff from NXT, like little snippets of it. And then her Mae Young Classic run, which I, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed her in the Mae Young Classic. Sure. But, I mean, other than that... Not a fan. Um. So I guess you were right. It was 2011 when John Cena got drafted to SmackDown, then got drafted mm-hmm. to Raw. Mhm. Because uh, SmackDown won a match. Drafted Cena. Cena was on SmackDown for maybe like 30 minutes to the rest of SmackDown that night. Or the rest of Raw, and then he got drafted back to Raw. I don't really care when it was. That's a stupid thing to do. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't get it. Oh, uh, the almighty Bobby Lashley is on Raw. Is going to Raw. Yeah. Well, staying on Raw, I guess. Yeah. Uh, which is fine. N- another guy that. Um, you know, has an air of Raw anyway. The matches on SmackDown tonight weren't bad either. They weren't bad. Uh, the New Day got the win over the OC. Uh, I enjoyed that match. That was a really good match. The ending was perfect. The, the sequence between Kofi and AJ were picture perfect. There was no fuck up whatsoever. They they had perfect precision. I think they would definitely be good in a one on one match against each other. Um, Bailey is the new WWE SmackDown Women's Champion again. Yep, and she's officially heel, folks. She is no more wacky, waving, inflatable arm flailing Bailey buddies. Not where I thought you were gonna go with that, but okay. Huh? No more of the hugs. No more. The, the fact she started a promo with "Hey bitches," like, oh my god, like, wow, it caught me off guard. 
But WWE's running with heel Bailey, and I love it. Which, I mean, they should have been anyway. Exactly. Like, the fact that she's 100% heel now. Like, what? Sorry, hold on. Yeah! Alright. I'll be there soon. But, uh, she's also, she, uh, she dyed her hair, cut it, jet black, new attire, no more, uh, streams on the arms, none of that. She's bona fide heel, perfect, and I love it. New theme, too. Uh, the theme, the new theme debuted, bas- like, right after she won the title. Nice. Because, like, it's, her entrance started with, you know, her happy-go-lucky theme. Right. And then, like. She stands at the she stands at the ramp, and then she does the you know she, she does her signature, and then she stops, takes the hood, reveals the new hair and the new look, takes off the jacket. She goes behind one of the the inflatables, picks up a staff with like a spear at the end, and fucking hacks away at them. Like I was watching, I was like, holy shit! And I'm like, oh my god. None of them talked about her hair that it was cut. No, that's that's odd. It is odd because you can notice it right away. Yeah, because like, last oh, week wow. she, she cut her hair. had longer hair. It was like brown. Yeah, it wasn't like fully black. It was like darkish brown. Right. And then she cuts her hair short. Kind of reminded me of Ruby Riot, minus the side shape. Right. Like same color, same same style, same same length. Uh, we also have the revival going to SmackDown since they're the tag team champions. And then we have Heavy Machinery going to SmackDown. And Lucha House Party. And Lucha House. Lucha, Lucha. <laughs> um, and then we have you know Bobby Lashley. Oh, Alexa Bliss. Uh, staying on She's Raw. Uh, uh, Kevin go... Owens is switching brands oh. to Raw, which is fine. I hope Sami Zayn gets drafted with them. <laughs> I think uh, I'm interested what they're gonna. I think they're gonna split the new day up. In my opinion, I think Kofi's gonna stay on SmackDown while Biggie and Xavier go to Raw. No. But that you don't think no they're way. gonna split them up? No way. I mean. No, no matter how, how hot Kofi is right now, the New Day has been hot for the past four years. Yeah. Four it, years. That's true. I don't know. I, I, I just feel like if they split them up right now, and then kind of like what they did with uh, Bubba Ray and Devon in the, in the first draft, kind of like a, a trial to see if that could work. Because I know Kofi can be a great singles competitor. If He's they just split up have... the New Day right now, that would be a nail in the coffin. Merchandise sales would go down. Uh, it's... Everything would go down. Everything. <laughs> you know how many people like New Day? Like everyone. Like before, yeah. they, were, they were the most hated f- faction. And then within three years, they turned into like... The, the hottest commodity in wrestling. Yeah. I can use big words too. I graduated high school. Commodity? I mean, it's not really a big word. It sounds big, but when you see it written down, it's not really that big of a word. And for me, it's pretty big. Plus, what big word did I use? Good point. You didn't exactly like I'm not I'm trying just... to one up you. No, I'm just saying, I'm just trying to be funny, I guess. I don't know, but like, yeah, if they split. See, I kind of want to see what it would be like, but then again, I don't because I love the new day too. I mean, I have like basically like almost every new day merchandise. Uh. The, the, the one thing I don't like is keeping Natalia around at all. It's, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I just, I was talking to my mom about it, and she's like, she's going to be a lifer. 
And I'm like, yeah, she's basically going to be in WWE till she can't no more. But I feel um, like I, I feel like if she left WWE and went to AEW, that would be probably like the best move in her career. I disagree with that as well. Really? What? Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Natalia, as a character, right. and as a person, is boring. It's not because she's in WWE. It's because she's a boring person. Have you ever? Have, you watched Total Divas, right? Yeah, she's boring. She is so boring. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Everything she says, I want to go to sleep. I hate hearing her talk. Yeah. Uh, we got the Viking Raiders on Raw. We're going to stay on Raw, which is cool. Mm-hmm. Um, he crossed staying on Raw, hopefully with Alexa Bliss. Yeah. Um, I think they're going to be a tag team again eventually and win back the titles. Who knows? And then even though they said that NXT would not be a part of the draft, the Street Profits still got drafted from NXT to Raw anyway. I noticed that. So what? What? Then why even have bring NXT? I think, into I this? think they left NXT after they lost the tag titles. To officially, well, right. they were still technically in NXT. Yeah, but you knew their time was coming up. I guess I. I just I. I want. I want NXT to be. You know, it's on TV now. It should be the third brand, and I want them to be in the draft, and I want. To see, you know, people from, like, take, like, Bobby Lashley, someone who's never been in NXT, and put him in NXT. I agree. Or, uh, or take, you know, draft John Cena at NXT or something. <laughs> he just bury everyone. He buries everyone anyway, so there's a, who cares? Not true. He's the Grim Reaper. <laughs> or or uh, draft the Undertaker to NXT. You know, give Triple give H, some, draft Triple H to NXT. <laughs> give some some give NXT a little you know more star power. Like I you know I like Undisputed Era. You know they're they're huge. In indie wrestling, they're huge. In you know. Main event stuff. Right. The casual fan. Do, does any casual fan know who Honest Beauty Era is? Let alone Adam Cole or Roderick Strong? Exactly. Or even Kyle O'Reilly. That's. Yeah, it's like the, the, the hardcore fans, obviously, they know who they are, but like the casual fans don't. Right. Which which is the problem? Right. Because you have people like Braun Strowman. Did Braun Strowman even wrestle in NXT? No. No. He uh, he used to be a Rosebud. Right. For Adam Cole, and then uh, trading at the Performance Center, and then debuted in the Wyatt Family. During so, during the during the feud against the Undertaker and Kane, draft Braun Strowman to NXT. I feel like Braun Strowman would be a good addition to NXT. Just get get more eyes on it. Get more people to know who the Velveteen Dream is, and like you know, all, all those people. I, I, th from I NXT. said Velveteen Dream should be drafted to SmackDown. Well, I'm just. Just, I, um, just, it's, it's just one of those things. The more people that they know, like, take my grandma, right? She knows who Adam Cole is. Uh, I basically made her know who Adam Cole is. Um, so she, she started watching NXT. She likes Matt Riddle. You know, she she started to like NXT, but she didn't. She doesn't know ninety percent of that roster. No, you have to be like a hardcore fan really to know who's who. 
Exactly. If you get like Braun Strowman or Bobby Lashley, they're all big name down there. Even probably Seth Rollins now, since you know it's been so long since he was in NXT anyway. Get more people, get more casual fans to watch their favorites on NXT, which is pretty much an indie show, basically. And like. I wanted so more right. people know who they are before they come up to the main roster. Right, exactly. Instead of them being exposed to them on Raw or SmackDown for the first time, and they have no idea who it is. That's why I wish that they had more surprise entrance in the Rumble. I'm sorry, what? So that's why I wish like there were more surprise entrants in the Rumble than there normally is. You know, so that way you can put the guy's name out there. I mean, the, the roster is the biggest it's been in years. If, right. if they're going to do that, then the standard Roy Rumble should be 40 men. It should. I mean, it, 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 it would make it a lot better. That's 10 extra people you could put in there. And you could do more surprises. Yeah. And get more. Like, put Damian Priest in there. He won't be on Raw or SmackDown for a while. But at least people will be like, oh, I wonder who that is. I should go check him out on NXT. And you look him up. I know who he really is. I mean, it's just it's it's if, the little they, things that get guys noticed, right? But like, I wish they did that more, especially with yeah. guys being signed these deals that they deserve. Yeah, to be put on TV and not just kind of pushed to the side. Right. Well, even even some of the women in NXT, they should kind of the the some of them should be brought up. I mean, Shayna Baszler's been down at NXT for like the past two years. Time it's time to bring her up. I'd say yeah, she's still champion. Yeah. Oh yeah, she is. I say, have her drop the belt. Come to Raw. She needs to be brought up here pretty soon. I agree, because she's she's done everything in NXT. What is else is there more for her to do? See now, you know they have uh, Marina Shafir and Jessamyn Duke on NXT TV more. People starting to know who they are. Let's bring them up, and let's get the four horsewomen of MMA back together. That's what I'm saying. I agree. Yeah. And then, and now, I think, except for Becky Lynch, I think three of the four horsewomen of NXT are all heel now. Charlotte's not heel. She's always going to be a heel. She's a face. That's that's stupid. I thought we did this already. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is this 2017? I didn't realize. Okay, okay, Razor. It's not. Here, let's calm it down. It's, a, it's pops. Not pops. I'll say, but uh, can't fucking talk. But like. Charlotte is not a heel. She's a face now. Becky? No, no, no. No, no, no. Charlotte, just like Rick, will always be a heel. Sorry, but right now, she's, she's a baby face. No. I do not believe that. I, well, I mean, believe what you want, dude. Charlotte's face, man. No. Bailey's heel. Deal with it. I'm fine with Bailey being heel, but Charlotte is not a face. She's the heel. She will always be a heel. 
because she sucks. <laughs> okay, fine, fine. I, I'm not gonna argue with you about it. I'm. Do you do you remember the experiment they tried to do? They turned Becky heel and then turned Charlotte face, and everyone rejected it. That's true. It's gonna be the same thing. If if they if she comes out as a full on heel or a full on face, everyone's just gonna reject it again. Cause no one wants that. No, but yeah, but then. Then you gotta turn the four horsewomen of MMA face. And they can't Ryan, be faced. Ronda's they face. Can't. Yeah, but besides Ronda, they can't they can't be faced. They're heels. I just I I don't think flipping Charlotte to face is going to work unless you really make her humble. It's the only way I could think of it happening. I don't know, man, but like... Maybe, maybe dropping the flare. You know, the stop flare stop using your dad's gimmick. I agree. Because like when, when she first started, she wasn't known as Charlotte Flair. She was just known as Charlotte. I mean, you knew she was a flare. You knew. But, you know... I mean, it's, it's, you know... Change, change the music, change everything. Right. Change the entrance, change the wooing to none. Go to say it, and then just kind of stop. Even, even her figure eight has to go. Her natural selection is actually pretty interesting. I like that move. That, I like that move. <clears throat> I think if she did it standing up and not, it would be more... Like if it was like a standing, kind of like John Cena's throwback move. It's basically what it is. Yeah. So like if she did that, there would be more impact. Impact. <laughs> Check out TNA. Um. <laughs> TNA impact, baby. Um. Yeah, no, I, 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 I do agree with you. It, even, even on the knees, like it just, no one does that move. No. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Sponsor, sponsor time, sponsor time. Southern Comfort. <laughs> right, right before we end the thing, um. This episode of the Weathers Media Podcast, or the bonus episode, is sponsored by Skull Candy Headphones. Skull Candy, the best headphones in town. By the way, just so everyone knows, I only use Skull Candy headphones. These are the only headphones I use. They're the only ones I buy. Only ones. And I actually just bought... (laughs) Some cordless, what you know, you know those uh, those AirPods. Yeah, AirPods. Right. But Skull Candy has has. Right. Skull Candy, but it's like the same thing. Just Skull right. Candy. Cause Skull Candy's the best, the best headphone you can buy. I mean, I'm not gonna disagree with you on that. Skull Candy's a good company. I love Skull Candy headphones. The their over the ear headphones are fucking comfy as shit. They are great, great sound quality. You get you get what you fucking pay for. Oh yeah, that. like 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 but it might yes, be expensive, I, I am, but I am at least it's Apple, worth it. I I am an Apple advocate, but I will say Soul Candy is a great fucking company. I, oh, yeah. I I think if they made gaming headphones, like gaming headsets, there's nothing else they couldn't do. I would love to see them come out with a gaming headset. Oh my god, that would be amazing. That would be amazing. Tweet that, tweet that to Skull Candy. That's right, that's right. Everyone, tweet to Skull Candy that we need, we need fucking gaming headphones. Just like uh, from Skull Candy. And if if they are if they will be made, we will use them for CCW in our commentary. 
That's right, we, will, we, will. we will use those as our commentary headsets. Yes. And we will sponsor. We will. Cease Cherry Capital Wrestling will sponsor Skull Candy. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Definitely. In Southern Comfort, I know. <laughs> all, right, all right, everybody. That was a bonus episode. You know, half the time that we do, you know, regular regular episodes in. We have our uh, lives we need to get to. <laughs> what? I said we have our lives that we need to get to, you know? Yeah. That's why we don't. I, that's why our bonus I, episodes are only half the time of a regular <laughs> I have to get to sleep. I have to work at 10 a.m. I have the day off tomorrow. I have, My coworker took my shift for tomorrow because I took her Wednesday. Okay. So that way this bad boy can heal. Uh-huh. Um, For Aaron Ahmed, I'm Jay Weathers. Thank you, everyone, for watching. And uh, go buy Skull Candy headphones. Tweet to Skull Candy about making a gaming headphone headset now, like like right now. The second you see this 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 sponsorship plug, go tweet to Skull Candy. Hashtag it. Um, hashtag it as Weather's Media Podcast. You know, hashtag CCW. Hashtag fuck the yard. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, hashtag fuck MEBW. But that is not the smirk of a guy who just goes into the office, sues the government, and goes home, is it? That's the smirk of a guy who goes into the office, sues the government, adjusts the office thermostat without telling anyone, steals someone's sandwich from the fridge, farts in the elevator, and then goes home. Now, Adam has since gone on to become governor of Texas, but his successor, Ken Paxton, was no less eager to sue the Obama administration. Just listen to his wife proudly describing Paxton's love for lawsuits in what apparently I legally have to call a song. Pistol packing mama, yes I am. I pistol packing mama, yes I am. I'm a pistol packing mama, and my husband sues Obama. I'm a pistol packing mama, yes I am. I never thought I would say this, but I would...